we're, we're, ha we're going to speak with Gene Taye and Tony Belcourt and Jason and all the different sort of the uh, the lawyers are talking about it. But maybe you want to talk about you know um, what hunting has meant to you and why it's important for you as a major person to hunt. Okay, uh, I, I've always had, hunted, lived off the land. I mean, it's always been that way. Uh, I've hunted moose from the day I was 12, 13, from my uh, parents taught me and you know, I've always hunted. Uh, I know my family, we eat moose meat in everything. I mean, we make moose chili, we have hamburgers, we have steak, we have roast. I mean, it, it's a way of life with us. And I've always hunted, so the only thing was we had to hide it. For years, we I, I, I learned off the best how to smuggle the moose home without getting caught for the m &R. It's just amazing uh, things you could learn off uh, poachers, I guess you'd call us. Have to be a poacher if you're going to be a Métis person. You know, you know you have that right. Your family's given you that right, but yet you've got to be charged under Canadian law. Uh, so. Like I said, uh, this, this one that we were charged with, I didn't smuggle it. I put it right on top of my truck, drove right down the main street and right home. I was just fed up of hiding it all the time. You know, putting wood on top of it. There's so many ways they teach you to do it. You put a pile of your wood on top of your moose, firewood, you bring it home, you just, uh, do it after dark under tops, put it inside the boat, or, you know, there's so many ways that you're taught to do this. And like I said, we just got fed up with it. So we didn't hide it, and we just put it right on top of the truck, tied it down, and drove home. And we were charged with the with the case, eh? Um, and from that point, it's been nine years in court. We've won the three battles, and I I really believe. In fact, I know we're going to win, Supreme Court. Uh, it's just a matter of formality to win this last one. I mean, under Section 35, Métis has the right. And now, it's proven that we do. We do exist. The most important thing in this last court case here said we exist as Métis people and we have that right. To me that was the greatest day in my life we, to know that we do exist in the, in the government's eyes and the law of Canada. To me that was fantastic. I wasn't worried about uh, the, the case itself. Uh, if, if, if I lose the Supreme Court I'll pay the fine but we're Métis and we're proven. To me that's fantastic. I don't know how I, all the Métis feel about it but exercise your right if you get caught Wave it to the wind. We exist. We're here. We're not going away anymore. Um, did uh, so your fa your family was uh, you just grew up. That was part of.